Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thankfully, today is the last day for all the prep work before we can pour the concrete and all these footings for the 6x6 pressure treated post. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end so you won't miss out on any details of how you can do this type of work. So yesterday, we were able to build some of the cages that are gonna go inside of these holes. Now, we have nine total, and we got most of them pretty close, but there are still some that we still need to dig around the perimeter so we can get the 18 inches width, and we need to be at least two and a half feet deep. And in some cases, we need to be close to three feet deep. And the reason for that is because the ground slopes up from the front to the back and the holes that are near the back, which is over there by the fence, those holes are gonna be a little bit deeper. Now, in order for us to find the level to, so we can be perfect in all of this, I have this rotating self-leveling laser level and that thing you just put it in one area and with the rod and that receiver like you, the one you see right there we're able to start like this is our first hole it's going to be our reference po reference point and from there we're going to check each one of the holes and that will tell us exactly how many more inches we need to dig so that the bottom of every hole is at the same level then after that we're also starting to prep the rest of the cages. We already have a few ready, but we have a few more that we need to prep so we can put it in place. Now, these are gonna rest all the way in the bottom of the hole, and they're gonna be on top of a dobe. It's a little concrete block that it measures three inches tall. So you put that at the very bottom. It has already a little bit of uh, a tie wire on it. So you can tie the rebar, the vertical rebar directly on top of that little concrete block and that will rest on top of that. So these structures are very solid. We, we built all these rings two videos ago. I uploaded it and I showed you the entire process of how we were able to bend these ourselves. Now you can go ahead and, and hire a, a vendor to bend them for you, but it's gonna be quite a bit more expensive to have someone else do it. What I did instead is I went ahead and purchased one of those hand benders, and I had my guys use the same, the, the same dumpster that we're gonna be utilizing for, for this garbage enclosure. They had these little loops and you'll, you'll see it in that video. So we put it in through those loops and we were able to bend all of those rings because we needed a total of 36. Three in the, three in the top and one at the bottom. That is, um, the, the three at the top, those are two inches on center separated from each other. And then the last one at the bottom is 12 inches on center separated from the three at the top. And I'll show you that at the very end, the, the example once it's in the hole. But the whole, uh, the whole idea here is that these rings are 14 inches wide. Now, what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us two inches clearance all around the hole because our hole is 18 inches wide. So by putting this 14 inch wide cage right at the center, it's gonna have two inches clearance all around the whole circle. And then at the very bottom, like I said, it's gonna rest on those dobe blocks. So it's gonna be a really nice structure. Now all of this is gonna be, it's gonna give the concrete a lot of strength. So when we put the post, the, the, the six by six pressure treated post in the middle, it's gonna be surrounded by the rebar and the concrete and everything that that footing that foundation is going to be super solid i mean it's going to be really hard you know to break through that you're going to have the the wood is going to break first before that footing will ever be messed with so and actually the the six by six pressure treated post it's going to be elevated six inches from the bottom and which i'll show you that at the end how we were able to support that but right here we're making marks on the rebar 
And the reason why we're doing that is we need to have the rebars at two inches on center. And then at the very bottom, we're gonna put those blocks. So right there, we're measuring exactly where, you know, some of these rebars, we have to cut them and adjust them depending on the hole. So what we're doing is measuring the what we need and then any excess material, we're gonna make the mark right there and, and cut that out with a grinder. So after we do that, we can go ahead and install the dolby and tie it to the bottom of the rebar and that's what's gonna rest on, on the hole. Now, yesterday we uh, loaded up my dump trailer quite a bit with a bunch of dirt that was, it was a huge dirt mound and we're actually still removing some more soil but uh, we weren't able to finish it because it was super hot this uh, yesterday and two days ago and today, it was over 100 degrees. So we started as early as we could and we ended around 3 p.m. So we, we can try to get out of the crazy heat. But thankfully, even with all of that, we were able to get quite a bit done. So all in all, I have four guys working today. Three of them are helping us to dig all of the holes, make sure that we have the proper width of 18 inches and, and the depth that, uh, down at least two and a half feet up to three feet deep. So we're using just basic hand tools. We have that hand breaker for any like hard uh, dirt area. We just loosen it up with that breaker. And, and then from there, we start removing all the soil and at the end, just checking the level. Right here, we cut, we're cut. we cutting some of these rebar because when we bent the circle, the, the excess was a little bit too much and it was gonna be in the way for the six by six post that needs to be at the center. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, we just kind of cut uh, a little bit of that excess a few inches off just enough so we can be able to fit the, the six by six post right at the middle and everything will work perfectly. But thankfully today, the inspector showed up first thing in the morning. I called for a kind of like a consultation and he looked at everything and it, it is really good, you know? So um, he said he's gonna come back tomorrow morning and he trusts, you know, that we have everything under control and we already have a good idea of what needs to get done so all he's gonna do tomorrow is he's just gonna take a look at what we've already built so all these cages that you see right here we're gonna put them into the holes and we're also gonna put the six by six posts at the center and we're gonna support them with some two by fours so they're already in the position where they need to be and then tomorrow the only thing that we're gonna do is add some additional support from the two by fours so that way the six by six posts are, are nice and solid. And when I have the concrete, that's uh, I got that scheduled for tomorrow around 12 o'clock. So whenever the concrete comes in, we're gonna just basically pour around in the hole. And uh, and, and this, is, this is what the result is right here. So at the very end, we already have the cages down in there in the proper height and depth and we have the, pre the pressure treated post right there at the center. So these are pretty much ready to go and it's ready for the inspection tomorrow. So I hope you like this video. Consider subscribing to our channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any videos. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. May God bless you and take care.